Hello lover bag, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about hair accessories. Designer hair accessories in particular. Is it worth it or is it just a waste of money? But well, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. I post video every Sunday about luxury items. I will give a little bit of a history, some background, my honest opinion, suggestions, and hoping at the end of the video, you will learn a thing or two. Okay, let's start. Hair accessories. So history, it is dated during the Bronze Age, and then it evolves towards the Roman, the Egyptian era, and now the 20th centuries. When they had this hair accessories many many moons ago it is just not for women it's also for men but nowadays you can't really see lots of men having uh, a hair accessories apart from a few hair beads along the way or you can put a cap on it or now they have actually will incorporate on their haircut some design on their hair so that's as far as it goes when it comes to women, to men, I should say. But when it comes to women, the hair accessories is enormous. They have so many types, so many different brands, and also so many materials that you can use. It could be from the most extravagant to the most simple one. For the most extravagant one, you can put the real pearl, gold, some precious stones like ruby, emerald, or so it's endless. Or you can just use some also some flowers that goes with it. A lot of the uh, extravagant or flamboyant hair accessories can be done on a special occasion. Like if you're attending a wedding or you're attending some sort of parties or or some costumes or something when it comes to the hair. So let's categorize the hair accessories. There's actually seven, seven, I can't even do my seven, seven categories of hair accessories. Number one is the ancient hair ring. Why is it with me that I can never pronounce the word ancient? ancient 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 anyway they basically discovered this many moons ago it is a round hair ring made out of gold and which is now the equivalent to us is what we call the scrunchies then the second one is a hair bow and ribbons the third being a hair pins which some of you guys will probably be familiar because um, some of them called it bobby pins. I don't know why bobby. Could be anyone, isn't it? Could be Peter. Why not John? But I don't know. It's called bobby pin. And then the fourth one is called vintage barrettes. I haven't seen a vintage barrette yet. I think this is made out of metal that has like a little bit at the end of it, at the end of the metal thing. But I will try and find a photo of what is a... Uh, a vintage barrette but if you guys have one of those please comment down below and share it to me and share it with us and then the fifth one is a headband the sixth would be a decorative comb the seventh it's a hair beads so those are the seven categories of hair accessories so as you know designer brand they have to have their own designer stuff, isn't it? So, my very first one, I was actually, before I show my collection, well, more like a, a very minimalist collection of designer hair accessories. I've only just started recently. So, my first one is, then it is a headband from Salvatore Peregamo. This is their classic Vera Bow headband. Most of you guys are probably familiar with this one. It is in gold antique hardware. It's just literally written uh, Salvatore Peregamo. And you can see in there it says made in Italy. So it is very, very simple design. Hence, I fell in love with it. And there you go. That is... The headband, the most, I should say, the most common headband that you will see on the designer world 
is the one from Prada. I was tempted to get the one from Prada, but I changed my mind because it's padded and it's quite thick. When you're wearing it, you feel like you're, you know, Anne Boleyn kind of thing because it's quite thick. Um, well, who knows? Maybe one day I might get one. But for now, I'm happy with this Salvatore Ferragamo uh, headband. They come in different colors. So that's one. And then I got sucked in on this one. I went to uh, a vintage uh, luxury stores and I found this. This is, you will guess, this is a scrunchie, a thinner version, I suppose, of scrunchie if you think about it, from one and only Chanel. So you can see um, the CC on it. There you go. So I may probably put that so you can see a little bit in there. Back on, can you see it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it is basically a big pearl. It's the size of, uh, I'll say, halfway between uh, 10p and 50p. So I paid quite a lot of money on this one i don't know why what possessed me on getting this i love my pearl and i also i love my chanel so i thought why not splurge in one so to be honest i i actually only use it about twice because i in my mind what if it came off or something but it is actually well constructed so yes so this is i don't think this is available at chanel anymore so you can get it from vintage luxury store but be very careful make sure you check every single thing that it is an original chanel yeah then i have to be a little bit creative i have a bag twilly so this is from um hermes i mean in theory it is a bag twilly but nowadays and it's actually a double purpose you can use it as a hair accessories what you do you basically tie it with a normal and then use that as an accessory bit for it see and it is really quite cute then i also have another one from louis vuitton which this one is a little bit wider so you can put like that so and that remind you of the 50s isn't it then while i was shopping at tk max about i'll say two weeks ago i've discovered a hair designer hair accessories from missoni as you can see i still have all of this and i haven't had a chance yet to try this on so you just basically put that on like so and voila that is your oh not very good in doing the whole it demonstrating it to you guys but you get the you get the idea how it works yeah so like that and voila then i saw another one this one is actually quite big it's again from missoni so please guys Go to TK Maxx and you can get this at a reasonable price. It's quite big. And Missoni, they're quite um, famous for their woolly materials. They're actually quite woolly materials. And it's so huge and big. So you can just put that in there. And voila, your good old scrunchie. So these are, I only have like a handful as I've mentioned, isn't it? So, but the rest of it are endless whichever designer that you love you can get pretty much all the type of hair accessories that i've mentioned with you guys there you have it whether i'm going to add more of these accessories at some point probably or probably not brings us the question designer hair accessories is it really worth it or is it just a waste of money for me, I think it's worth it because 
the construction especially this one this is my very first like i said the headband they did it really really well and the other thing as well is if you're planning to buy a designer hair accessories don't go to the actual shop why don't you go to the outlet village so you can pay practically half the price or a fraction of a price if you're going to buy it in the actual plug store of examples of Atari Pergamo, Gucci, or Prada. The best one that actually have loads would be in Vister Village Outlet and they do all sorts. Honestly, the selection is fantastic. Obviously, if you want the latest hair accessories, they won't be there yet so you have to get it on the actual main main store there you have it if you have any questions please comment down below give me a thumbs up whether you like it or not and as i always say it is bye for now and remember keep smiling bye